Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we have our first full makeup look for 2017. So I wanted to do a quick get ready with me today just to get the ball rolling, get into the full makeup looks and I absolutely love this lip combination. It's probably going to be my favourite throughout autumn and the eyes are super simple to do as well. I've used like two eyeshadows and that is it. So I really hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you do down in the comments below. Please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as well and if you want to see how we got this whole face today then keep watching. For my primer I've used the Illamasqua Hydra Veil because my skin is quite dry today and I haven't used it yet with the foundation and I want to see how they work together. Then for foundation I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter and I am in the shade 210. So I thought today's video would be a get ready with me because I am trying to do two videos a week now every Wednesday and Sunday and it is Sunday today and I haven't got a video so I wasn't going to put one up but I just fancied like doing my makeup today so hopefully I can get this up for tonight. I do want to try and do more how to videos so if there is anything that you want to know, makeup or beauty related, then let me know and I can try and do a video on it. And then for concealer I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm using the shade Custard. My eyes are super red at the moment. I had a reaction to something that I wore. I don't know whether it was like an old product that needed throwing away or whether it was something new that I'd used. I still haven't figured out what it was but it's made my eyes so sore which is why I haven't really been wearing makeup that much this week. But they are starting to calm down a little bit now and I have taken that over my lid as well just so I don't have to use an eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to set the concealed areas in place because I do quite like the finish of this foundation on its own so this is just sitting on my desk so I'm going to use this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm just going to use the banana shade because I am a little bit extra dry today. I don't really want to set this foundation. It is matte anyway so the last time I used it I didn't set it and it worked fine so interesting to see how it works with the primer that I've used today because I haven't used these two together. The bronzer I'm going to use the Benefits Hula bronzer. To be honest I even forgot that I had this. I haven't used it for so long. I found it at the back of my drawer this morning and I thought I'll have to use that because I haven't used it for ages. I like to bring my bronzer up onto my cheeks as well. I'm not going to be using a blush today so this is just going to act as both. And I always take it underneath my jawline as well. And then over the top of that, just to add a little bit more luminosity, I'm going to use the Illuminating Bronzer from Milani, and this is in the shade Glow. This is probably one of my all-time favourite products. I really want to try more things from Milani because they are super affordable, and everything that I've tried so far, like the blushes and the bronzers, are all lovely. I also feel like I haven't done a favourites video for so long. To be honest, I'm not really trying that many new products to do a video every single month even though I really wanted to. So what I was thinking of doing is doing like a seasonal one instead so a summer, spring, autumn and winter beauty favourites. I think that would be better. So then I won't have to worry if I haven't tried something new one month it won't really matter. So I think I'm going to start doing a seasonal one. I'll probably do one October time as like an autumn one and then a Christmassy time like a winter one. So yeah we'll see how that goes. While this is out on my desk, I'm just going to do a little bit of contouring. I'm going to use that end shade there. I'm not using much, just a little bit right here. So I think that's all I'm going to do for the face. I'm going to do highlight last because that's my favourite part. I've just quickly gone over my brows. I've used the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Chocolate and then set them with the Maybelline Brow Drama. Since I have grown out my brows and I think I'm pretty much where I want to be now, they are so much easier to fill in. It literally takes me like two seconds now. So for eyes, I want to keep them super, super simple, but I want to do something more autumn-y as well because we are in full season or autumn season now. So I'm going to use two, maybe three eyeshadows and that is it. I'm going to start by just using a bit of Benefits Hula on a fluffy brush. I just want this as a little bit of a transition shade just so it sort of ties in the eyes with the skin. So I'm just going to dust this into my crease and then I'm also going to take some underneath as well. Because my skin is so dry my under eye creases are so bad today. 
For my lid, I'm going to use a more bronzy shade, but what is new? I always use bronzy shades. I'm going to use this cream shadow from Revlon. It's a colour stay one and it's in the shade 710. I have done another tutorial with this recently, which I have a link up. I think it's in this corner. I'm not sure. Either one of them corners, I never know. So yeah, I'm going to use this. I do like to use the little brush as well, which comes on the top. I think it's really handy. So I literally just apply this all over and up into my crease as well and then I'll just simply take a fluffy brush and just blend that into the transition colour and I just think they're so easy but effective at the same time. Okay, then I'm going to line my top and lower waterline with this eye pencil. This is Max Coast Riche. I really like this because it's more of like a reddish brown. It really complements the blue in my eyes. It makes them pop and I just love like more water. Get my words out. More warmer tones for autumn as well. So I'm going to do both waterlines with this. And then to switch it up a little bit, I'm going to use this single shadow. This is from the Balm's Meet Matte Trimony palette, but it's just the little single one on its own. And it's the Matte Moskowitz shade. It's a really nice sort of plummy purple shade. It's really, really pretty. I'm just taking it on a flat brush and I'm going to use this as my eyeliner at the top. And then I'm also going to run this along my lower lashes as well, just to smudge out a bit of this liner. And then I'm just going to take a really light fluffy brush and just blend out the bottom. Can't do this without opening my mouth. Okay, so for mascara, I'm going to use the Revlon Mega Multiplier Mascara. It's the one with the sort of turquoisey top. I've just applied my lashes and I've used the Queen Bee Cocoa Lashes and then I'm going to do my highlight now. This is the Laura Garlic Gilded Honey. This is so, so pretty and I feel like even though sometimes when I am fair skinned, I can still get away with this one as well. I'm also going to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner with this as well. This look is super glowy. So for lips, I'm going to do a super full lip colour today. I've bought out Night Moth Lip Pencil from MAC, which only comes out in the winter and autumn time. So I'm going to do an ombre lip with this today. So I am going to line my lips first with this. And then I'm going to take a lip brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to diffuse this out a little bit. And then over the top of that, I'm going to use this Rodeo Lip Crayon. This is the Suede Lips Lip Crayon, I think, and it's in the shade Big Apple. I did get this in a glossy box recently and I haven't used it yet, but it just looks a really nice colour for like autumn and winter. So that completes a super quick and easy full get ready with me. I really hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot more full makeup looks to come, so be prepared. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!